You think that's all we do? Oh, no, obviously there's... Um, that was what Hoss I was thinking. Just, we don't get to socialize with the Zardi very often. The ones I meet wear armor and carry swords and shout a lot. Also, they kill Zid. So, uh, maybe I'm biased? Anyway, I, um... I just wanted to, you know, present myself for you. Introduce myself to you, not present myself. That's just, that's... Not appropriate, daughter of Teamar. Ugh. Sorry, I'm screwing this up, aren't I? <laughs> She's trying her best. Despite her prejudices, despite how the Azadi... How we have treated her and her people, She's willing to give me a chance. Okay, and what's the other one? She's trying too hard. And not succeeding. I don't know why she bothers. It's not like we'll ever see eye to eye or be friends. Well, you might be. If you work hard and you're not me, you might you might be able to make friends. She's trying her best. You're doing fine. It's an honor to meet you, Enuma Sandya. Twilight child. Daughter of Teama. Oh, Wow. The same, Chan Alvane, apostle of the Azadi, son of. Um... It's just Kian now. You can call me Kian. Okay. K. Can I call you K? You can call me Kian. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that's much, much better. Kian. Welcome to the Resistance, Kian. Sorry about Liko. He has issues. I will speak with him. In private. Oh, okay. Private. Got it. Won't pry. I'm trying to cut back on the prying. <laughs> I find myself warming to this one. She's not half as annoying as she first seemed. As for being a magical, it's something I must learn to deal with eventually. I've, She's as good a place to start as any. It makes sense just to keep talking to her, but it's also... Like, from a character perspective, maybe. She's not too bad, this one. I find myself warming to her. But enough's enough. Um, b b but I'm slightly biased, because I find her quite amusing and entertaining, and I want to have more entertainment in this game. I find... So, what's your story, daughter of... Oh, just any. No one calls me daughter of blah blah here. And my story is totally unexciting. <laughs> the opposite of exciting? Boring? Dull? Humdrum. That's the word. I'm a humdrum farm girl. Was. Was a farm girl. And hey, now I'm a rebel. Go figure. Never saw that one coming. Well, that's not entirely true. At least my parents don't totally disapprove. They'd be happier if I stayed put and out of trouble. Married a boring zid farmer, had little boring farm zidlings. But they are proud of me. They believe in the cause, and they totally hate the Azadi. Sorry. You have good reasons for hating us. Yeah, well, I'm not sure I can go back there when this is all over. To the farm, I mean. I like fighting for something. I like having a purpose other than farming, being a loyal daughter, a zidling breeder. Clearly. <laughs> I really wouldn't make a good zidwife. I'd be the worst. I'm sorry, this is way too much information. I was just gonna say hello and then blah, so, um, hello. And hey, good luck out there tonight. Well, oh, I'm gonna be there with you, but anyway, there it is. Ah. <laughs> I find it, I find it personally more entertaining because this kind of somewhat one-sided conversation is quite similar to something I have with one of my friends. Tanks are running Where um, sh she'll just keep talking and talking and talking, and I will just listen and occasionally comment, and then she will panic that she said too much. Well, dressed rebel. That one looks better dressed than most of the other rebels. He doesn't quite fit in. Let's have a chat with him. Oh, you're you're a scribe, probably. Hoy, Alvane Dar. It's an honor seeing your eyes. Dar is an honorific in Azadia, and Hoy a common greeting. He must have had interactions with Azadi, or studied the language and culture. So... If he has something to say to me, he will say it. So he's being respectful. Let's be respectful back. Dar 
Who taught you the proper Azadi form of address? That's not respectful. Oh, I, um, I, I, I did business with your be with the Azadi for several years. Until my aunt's tavern was shut down and she was arrested. And, until I learned what was really happening. You took part in that raid. At the Journeyman Inn. Ben Reem Salmin is my mother's sister. She raised me after my mother died. I, uh, I, I took her surname. I'm Jackai. Jackai Selmin. I was following orders when I arrested his aunt. But that doesn't absolve me of responsibility. I arrested his aunt. But apologizing won't do anything to change that. Okay, so that's an apology rather than an explanation. I think, okay, we'll go with this then. I was following orders. Your aunt was harboring rebels. I was under orders to arrest her. That's not... I'm sorry for what okay, happened there we go. to her. Your aunt is a strong and honorable woman. Oh, I, I don't blame you, Dar. Neither does my aunt. In fact, it was her idea to break you out. She knows you'll be an asset to us. You know, I only joined the resistance less than a year ago. Before that, I was a businessman, and my customers were mostly Azadi. Yep. He obviously wants to tell me his story. I should let him. Yeah, exactly. It was good business. I, uh, I profited from the occupation. I made a lot of money. It shames me to admit it now, but I actually believed in the Azadi. What they were saying made sense. Even, even the things they say about magicals. For a while, I blamed them for everything. I even went so far as to join the National Front for Faith and Family. Do you know who they are? Azadi collaborators. Anti-magical crusaders. Turncoats. I'm not proud of that. Uh, for those who don't know, the term turncoat comes from um, when you deserted from an army or an armed force uh, with your uniform, you would take your coat off and so you wouldn't be assumed to be on that group. You would turn your coat inside out and then put it back on. So it was, it was an inside out coat. You had turned your coat. You were a turncoat because you turned your coat around so that you wouldn't be thought of as being actually that side. Ta da No one cares. <laughs> this story seems important to him. He needs to get this off his chest. Mm. I should let him continue. Yeah, he's uh, confessing, basically. But then, when my aunt was detained and sentenced to five years in Cold Stone, it, it changed everything. Open my eyes. I realized it wasn't the Magicals who were at fault. It was the Azadi. It was us. Those of us who didn't speak up or, or take action. Those of us who betrayed our own. I think I've heard enough of his story. He's obviously looking for redemption. Mm. Why he thinks he'll find that with me, I have no idea. But I should not encourage him further. Right, well, let's encourage him. He really wants to get this off. I sought out the resistance, and now here I am, with all these brave people, like... like Anu. Oh, she's great, isn't she? I'm really impressed with how she... Uh, how she holds up. Boy, the Zid are really striking people. So pretty. Go and talk to her. Anyway, that's my story. Just talk to her. It's... Quite a story. Isn't it, though? I'm glad to have you with us, Dar. It'll make a huge difference. You have my support. I should be getting ready for tonight. Of course, Alvane Dar. Kian. I'm sorry for going on and on. Good luck out there. I'm going to keep talking to people, though. <gasps> it saves after everything. Brilliant. I was worried about that for a moment. I was like, uh oh. Am I going to have to redo all of this? So the Apostle has finally risen. A shame the fever didn't kill you. We'd all be better off. An even greater shame that a good man had to die for you to live. I'm certain again that I have seen this Dolmari before. No matter the circumstances, I will never let anyone speak to me in that way. He's angry, and I don't think responding in anger is going to make anything better. We have met before, Dalmari. I know it. 
We have. I wouldn't expect you to remember where. I'm sure it mattered little to you. Just one more blue face amongst the thousand you have murdered. Like you, I'm from the West. From the great continent we call Antiqua Abba. Land of the setting sun. The place your people call Mihadmir. And then Azadir. As though through occupation you came to possess it. You are of the Azad Dolmari tribes. I am of the Dol Antiqua. The Western Dolmari. First of my people. And yes, we have met before. Apostle Alvani. You murdered my father in front of me. If it hadn't been for my mother holding me back, I would have torn your throat out. And then neither of us would be here today. We faced each other again years afterwards. But I'm sure you have no memory of that either. After all, what's another filthy magical? You made me who I am today. And someday soon, I will unmake you. But I swore to Shepard that I'd set my private grievances aside. For now, unlike you, I keep my oaths. But if I ever suspect you plan to betray us like you betrayed your own, I will not hesitate. I will kill you. And once this war is over, we'll settle our accounts. You will pay for my father's death, my mother's grief, and my people's suffering. Mark my words, Butcher. Your days are counted. Right. Light of the Goddess. What do you mean? I don't think he's particularly happy with this. Let's go around. Oh, I can run now. Yay. You have recovered well, Kian. Your wounds were deep. You are strong. You brought me back to life. I saw you speaking with Liko. I what killed... Whatever you did, those many years ago, you did for reasons that neither he nor I can ever fully understand. You have started down a new path now, towards the redemption you seek. I'm not sure Lika will ever see eye to eye with me on that. His wounds are deeper than yours. He was a broken child, and he is a broken man. But he is also a great soldier, and he can be a great leader. More than anything, he wants me dead. To find redemption, maybe I need to grant him that wish. And throw everything away. Every sacrifice made to bring you here. That would be a worse crime. You have been born again, Kian. Make the most of this opportunity. Not everyone gets a chance at redemption. To undo the damage they have done and to shape their own future. The captain said the same thing. Only with different words. <laughs> Balsai is... He was. A man who spoke his mind. And spoke freely. I never met anyone who cursed as colorfully as he did. It was truly a thing of beauty. Mm. But he too had a past that haunted him. He was a lot like you. With us, he was given a second chance. A rebirth. An opportunity for redemption to atone for his sins. And he did. Past haunting people. Do they have anything better to do? That's what they always do. Haunting this person. For the time that. being, I can do more here than I can anywhere else. I'm caught between worlds, part of neither. I don't belong here. I don't belong anywhere. Mm. I may disappoint you. I have faith. Don't talk to me about faith, Shepard. Whoa! Faith is everything. Faith can lead you astray. Blind faith, yes. But faith can also lead you back to life. We will help you open your eyes. Kian, would you share your story with me? I have heard only fragments, rumors. I know there's more to it. Um, so, I assume this is... Is this a recap? No, it can't be a recap of the last episode. Is it a recap of parts from Dreamfall? Because I might need that. Um, hmm. Let's go. She saved me. Gave me a second chance at life. She has faith in me, even when I've abandoned all hope. 
If anyone deserves the whole story, it's her. Hmm. Of course, Shepard. Before all this, I was the Apostle. Back home in Azadir, I was loved and feared. I laid waste to our enemies in the name of the Goddess. A little over a year ago, I was summoned by the Six, our Empresses. They commanded me to travel across the sea to the occupied territories of the Northlands. I was to find and kill the rebel leader known as the Scorpion. He had murdered many Trueborn, and he stood in the way of our mission. I had always been taught that magic was evil, an affront to the laws of nature and to the Goddess. I'd been told that the magical races were dangerous and immoral. But when I arrived here in the Northlands and met the people of Mercuria, well, magicals were not the simple monsters of my childhood tales. Magic wasn't simply a tool for evildoers. It was a lot more complex. Then I met April Ryan, rebel leader. Of course, I didn't know it then. She was a stranger, our meeting accidental. But I know now that it was meant to happen. She was strong and honorable and good. She stood up to me. She questioned my beliefs, my faith, my mission. Her strength made me question everything. But I still went after the Scorpion and the Resistance, blindly, on faith. I finally tracked down the Scorpion. April Ryan. Infidel. Terrorist. Leader of the Resistance. Nothing made sense. But a choice had been made. The consequences were inevitable. My own people had me followed. My blind faith led them straight to her. To April. They killed her. Decimated the resistance. Sentenced me to death. For a year I rotted away in Friar's Keep. I was already dead. A walking corpse. I had lost everything. I'd given up. But now... Now I have the opportunity to redeem myself and my nation. To help rebuild the resistance. To avenge April Ryan. And to bring justice to those we... Those I have hurt. For that I'm grateful. Of course. Thank you. When you've spoken with the others and are ready to leave, come see me again. Okay.